Why is he do escalating right now? Why didn't he do this under the previous administration, who wasn't as supportive of NATO? Hmm, let's think, let's think. Previous administration, President Trump did, is send arms to Ukraine, reversing the Obama-Biden position. What Trump did is actually strengthen NATO by shaming them into spending more on defense. And most importantly of all, given that Russia is, as someone once observed, basically a gas station with nuclear weapons, President Trump massively increased our leverage against Russia by expanding our domestic energy production and making us a net exporter for the first time in nearly 70 years. On top of that, Trump put sanctions on the pipeline that was a lifeline for Russia's economy, Germany's Nord Stream 2. In a word, Trump projected strength. Putin took note. He didn't try anything on when Trump was there. Neither did China's dictator, Xi, or Iran, or little rocket man. Now let's look at what Biden has projected. On the actual substance, actions, not words, it's been a slow motion surrender to Vladimir Putin. On his first day, Biden attacked our energy industry by canceling the Keystone pipeline. Within weeks, he lifted Trump's sanctions on Putin's pipeline. Ever since taking office, Biden has waged war on American energy to pander to his extremist climate zealots, even though Trump's expansion of natural gas helped reduce our carbon emissions. Even more ludicrously, by cutting domestic energy, Biden had to beg OPEC to pump more oil. Now. Biden's talking tough on Putin. We're ready to impose severe sanctions on Russia if it further invades Ukraine. Oh, severe sanctions. Can someone please tell his own administration? Because the day before Biden said that, his own energy regulators were imposing severe sanctions on us. A massive new clampdown on liquefied natural gas pipelines and export terminals.